Today we will have a look on the genomic history of West Asia and the Fertile Crescent by reviewing the paper Genomic Insights into the Origin of Farming in the Ancient Near East in Nature. This is the region where humans first domesticated plants and animals and as we have shown in several previous Ancient DNA paper reviews, that is the hunter-gatherer turned farmers from this region that in the ensuing five millennia, together with their plants and animals, spread throughout Western Eurasia, a vast region that also includes Europe and beyond. There are several questions that the author of this paper tries to answer. Firstly, previous work has shown that the first European farmers harbored ancestry from a basal Eurasian lineage that diverged from the ancestor of North Eurasian hunter-gatherers and East Asians before they separated from each other. What was the distribution of basal Eurasian ancestry in the ancient Near East? Secondly, were the first farmer of the Near East part of a single homogeneous population or were they regionally differentiated? Thirdly, was there a continuity between the late pre-agriculture hunter-gatherers and early farming populations, or were the hunter-gatherers largely displaced by a single expansive population as in early Neolithic Europe? Four, what is the genetic contribution of these early Near Eastern farmers to later populations of the Near East itself? And finally, fifth, what is the genetic contribution of early Near Eastern farmers to later populations of mainland Europe the Eurasian steppe and to populations outside West Eurasia. Let's start with number one, the basal Eurasian. They find that basal Eurasian ancestry explains the reduced Neanderthal admixture in Western Eurasians, as there is a negative correlation between basal Eurasian ancestry and the rate of shared alleles with Neanderthals. The basal Eurasian population had a lower Neanderthal ancestry than non-basal Eurasian populations, and possibly none. The finding of little if any Neanderthal ancestry in basal Eurasian could be explained if the Neanderthal admixture into modern humans 50 to 60,000 years ago largely occurred after the split of the basal Eurasian from other non-Africans. Second, they find an extreme differentiation in the ancient Near East, but over time, pre-Neolithic, Neolithic and Calcolithic till Bronze Age and modern time, the genetic differentiation is significantly decreased in Western Eurasia. Thirdly, they find a continuity between hunter-gatherers and early farmers in West Asia. There is no replacement by the original hunter-gatherer populations by immigrating farmer populations. And finally, on point 4 and 5, on admixture of Near Eastern farmers to later populations of Near East and beyond. Europe, South Asia and Africa. They find that all the ancient populations can be modeled as a mixture of two or three other populations and up to four proximate sources, Eastern, Western hunter-gatherers, Iran and Levant Neolithic. The first farmers, those of the Levant, trace approximately two-thirds of their ancestry to people related to Natufian hunter-gatherers and about one-third to people related to the Anatolian farmers. Western Iranian first farmer clusters with the Iranian Mesolithic individual and more remotely with hunter-gatherers from southern Caucasus and share alleles at an equal rate with Anatolian and Levantine early farmers. Later admixture from populations related to the Calcolithic people of Western Iran had a wide impact on Levantine Bronze Age populations in the south as well as on the Calcolithic Northwest Anatolians in the west, ancient populations of Calcolithic Iran and Armenia, Bronze Age Armenia and Calcolithic Anatolia were all composed of the same ancestral components, albeit in slightly different proportions. Admixture did not only occur within the Near East but also extended towards Europe. To the west, early farmers of mainland Europe were descendants from populations related to the Neolithic Northwestern Anatolians. See my video, Genomic History of When Europe Was Populated by Anatolian Farmers. But migration from the Near East also occurs towards the southwest into East African populations, which experienced West Eurasian admixture around 1000 BC, and into South Asia, 
see my video Genomic History of how India became Indo-European for more on this. I will make a video on domestication as a key technological development among humans and its enormous importance for the change of population compositions. That is all for today. Thank you for listening. Until next time, I wish you all the best.